the game. Today we will analyze the nutrition, calories, and food groups using the USDA CNPP website Interactive Healthy Vegan Index. First, I need y'all to take out your homework that we had last night. Did everyone bring it? Okay. And you've placed everything you ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and your snacks. Everything you ate yesterday, is that on there? Okay, you did it. You did it. Okay, very good. All right. So now we're going to go over the food guide pyramid. Fats are on the top of the pyramid, using very sparingly. Milk, yogurt, cheese group, two to three servings. Meat, poetry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts groups, two to three servings. Vegetable group, three to five servings. Fruit group, two to four servings. And the largest group, bread, cereal, rice, and pasta group, six to 11 servings. Bread, cereal, rice, pasta. All the foods from grains provide fiber and carbohydrates for energy. Six to 11 servings of food from this group each day. Serving sizes in this group are one slice of bread, one ounce of ready to eat cereal, or one and a half cups of cooked cereal, rice and pasta. These servings may seem smaller than what you normally eat, but that's okay. You can just count them as two servings instead of one. Vegetables contain a lot of vitamins and minerals every day. Contains fibers, three to five servings from this group each day. Serving sizes in this group are basically one cup of raw leafy vegetables, a half a cup of cooked or canned vegetables, or three to four vegetable juices. Fruits contain fiber, vitamins and minerals. Two to four servings of fruit each day. Service sizes for fruit are one medium sized piece of fresh fruit, like a banana, orange, or apple, a half a cup of chopped, cooked, or canned fruit, or three to four cups of fruit juice. Fruits and vegetables are naturally low in fats and sugars, so they make great snacks. Okay, now we're going to the milk and yogurt and cheese group contains food that are mostly come from animals. Provides calcium and protein as well as other vitamins needed. A bit higher in fat, it is not needed in large quantities. Two to three servings each day. Service size for these groups are one cup. Eight ounces of milk or yogurt or one and a half ounce of natural cheese. Okay, meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts mostly from animal products, and supplies protein, iron, and zinc. Two to three servings are recommended from this group daily. Service sizes are two to three ounces of cooked lean meat, poetry, or fish. A half a cup cooked dry beans, one egg, or two tablespoons of peanut butter. And lastly, the fats, oils, and sweets. Eat sparingly in real small amounts. You hear that, guys? Small amounts. Provide calories, but not much other nutritional value. Include salad dressing, oils, cream, butter, margarine, sugars, soft drink, candies, and sweet desserts. These are no recommend, recommended serving sizes for this group because we should only eat them in very, 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 very small amounts. Okay, now we're going to finish this worksheet by placing the serving sizes and the food groups from each of the foods from your homework. We're going to take a few minutes to do that, and then we're going to move on to the next segment. Raise your hand when y'all are finished. Okay, we're going to use the net to analyze food intake. 
take. Okay, the inter Interactive Healthy Eating Index, IHEI, is an online dietary assessment tool that includes nutrition messages. After providing a day's worth of dietary information, you will receive a score on the overall quality of your diet for that day. This score looks at the type and amounts of food you ate as compared to those, to those recommended by the Food Guide Pyramid. It also tells you how much fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, and sodium you have in your diet. Okay, the first thing you're going to be doing is you put your name, use your name, your age, and your gender, and then click save. Then look at that. Okay. Okay, now below is information that you have stored for your username. Next, enter a choice of food in the next box. Then click search to choose a food. Click on it from the list. Repeat until you have included all the foods and beverage you eat for the last 24 hours. So put everything you ate yesterday in here. And tell me when you guys are finished. Then we're finished? Okay, now, select the serving sizes and specify how many servings you consume for each. Click Save and Analyze. This is how your HEI score will be analyzed, your nutrition intakes will be analyzed, food guide pyramid, and healthy eating history. Click directly on the emotions, faces for more detailed dietary information. Okay, right here you'll find out what your God pyramid stats are. And now, we want to put all the activity you did today, or yesterday. Choose an activity from the drop down menu and type search. Select your duration for each activity. When you are done, click Save and Analyze. Are y'all doing that? Is everything? Okay, great. Okay. Here are the total minutes of physical activity recorded. Right here. And next you will see your physical activity results to include activity type, description, category, intensity for each activity, your physical activity score, 0 through 100, your total calories expended, and then you will see graphs of physical activity scores and total calories expended over time, average physical activity scores and total calories expended. Right here you'll see everything, all your, all your summary. And that includes that. So, that's all I have for y'all for class. Make sure y'all keep these in your folder. And um, for homework tonight, I want y'all to write a personal meal plan according to the IHEI using another food intake record. Does so everyone understand that? Okay. Well, thank you. We had a good, productive day today, and we'll see you tomorrow.